What's up guys? Today we are talking about the Dexcom G6. Finally got my sensors in the mail. Got these bad boys right here. Super excited to use this. And I uh, still got my G5 on. As you can see, I applied it on my arm in my last video. This is the same one that was in that video. Uh, I'll be taking it off today, but putting the new G6 on. So, let's get right to it. There is an app you have to download first. I will show you that app. It's off of I have Android, it might be slightly different, but we have the Dexcom G6 app. You can see that green one right there. Set that down. Boom. Oh, calibration alerts. This guy is still asking for calibrations. Not any longer, because the Dexcom G6 does not require calibrations. Super exciting. And uh, yes, that is the same background as my shirt. I'm now realizing that. So anyways, we're going to go into the app, let it open up, and it says let's get started. So we go in. Agree to a bunch of stuff. I understand. I understand. Treatment decisions. Don't bring it into MRIs. Uh, here's the new stuff. Right now, it's importing my settings from. Oh, that's a quick import complete. Imported the settings from my G5 app. I'm gonna accept that. No finger sticks. Yes, please. Going through uh, things that cannot be silenced. Urgent low. Transmitter failure. Sensor failure. That kind of stuff. Um, okay. So now we go to sensor code. It's letting me know. The sensor code is on the sensor, it's four numbers, so I'm going to hit enter code. As you can see, we've got the sensor code right there. It is 5931. Don't steal my identity. Enter code. I can either take a photo or enter manually. It's only four numbers, so I guess I'll do that. It's not too hard. 5931. Alright, save that. 5931. Confirm. It says your transmitter sends sensor glucose readings to your smart device, smartphone. The next few screens will walk you through how to connect your transmitter to your smart device. Okay. So it looks like your transmitter and smart device connects using Bluetooth, Bluetooth smart device, blah, blah, blah. We know this. We use a G5. It uses Bluetooth. You have to be near it for it to work. I understand. Which it's connected to you and most of us, our phones are basically connected to us so shouldn't be much of an issue there. Uh, I would check to see if the Bluetooth is on. Bluetooth is on. It's working. Neck. Uh, allow settings. Okay, cool. Now we find the transmitter number. So I'm going to reach down here. Boom, we got our transmitter. Transmitter number. It's going to be on the back. It's going to be the one with the, uh, I'm forgetting what that's called, but the, the square -y things. So the SN number. I'm going to enter, well, let's take a photo. Let's try that one out. So what I'm going to do here is take a photo, see if you guys can see this. Boom. Got that on screen too. Insert and attach video. They have videos throughout the setup where you can go through, watch how to do it, or you can watch me tell you how to do it and do it myself. It's way cooler. So we're going to say insert your sensor and attach your transmitter. So next, insert sensor now. You must insert your sensor and attach your transmitter before continuing the setup. Have you inserted your sensor and attached your transmitter? Not yet. I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna put it on my upper arm because I prefer to do that. So, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys is that you also have in each sensor box one of these fancy guys. It's the quick start code, the, the map, if you will, on how to insert it, go through all the processes. So there, there's your sensor code, detailed instructions with pictures and infographics. It's, quite wonderful. Thank you Dexcom for making it simple for us. Um, so you can go through. We will be following this. Wash hands. I already did. Clean sensor slide and wash it with an alcohol wipe. These are not included with Dexcoms. You have to get these on your own. I choose BD alcohol swabs. They're super easy. They're cheap and they work great. Um, they're going to open the applicator pack used during uh, display setup. Remove both labels. Do not touch the adhesive. We don't want it to lose its stickiness. Move applicator to sensor site, wherever you choose to put it. It's supposed to be on your stomach, but I'm a bit lean, so mine's going to go on my upper arm. It's where it reads best for me. Um, and people go all over. People go on legs, arms, back, stomach. I've, I've seen forearms, everywhere. But do what your doctor says. Doctors know best. Doctors approve me for the arm. Next, place adhesive on the skin. Fold and break off the safety guard. I'll be showing you guys how to do this on myself. Uh, press button to insert and discard the applicator. And then we're going to push in the transmitter. So I'm going to go through that all right now. First up we have, boom, this guy. 
the Dexcom G6 sensor. So that's the uh, tab and button that they're talking about. And we're going to, actually, almost forgot, alcohol swab. So first up, alcohol swabs. I'm gonna take one of these guys out. Single use, they're awesome. Again, boom, alcohol swabs, fantastic to keep around. Even if it's just for uh, when you're on the go and you need to clean your hands before you eat or test your blood sugars, which we hopefully won't have to do ever again. So, here's what we do. I like to put it between my shoulder and my tricep because I'm super lean, so if I put it into my shoulder or into my tricep, not only will it be painful, but it likely won't give me the best readings because it'll be in muscle. So, all right, that's pretty super duper clean. Now, the sensor. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. There's a nice easy peel tab, easy peasy. Open that bad boy up. We are going to recycle what we can. It looks like there is a lot of plastic being used, which is kind of a bummer, but for the ease of use I get what they're going after, it's gonna make life easier to just hit a single button instead of push the plunger and pull it out like it was for the G5. So, again, we have that serial number. We are going to make sure that that's dry, I believe it is. My last video, my sensor did not stick on perfectly because it's been really hot out here in California. Um, so, we're gonna make sure it's dry. Just tap it. Yep, it feels dry. My hands are clean too. <sighs> Give it a little blow. Now we're going to peel this off without touching the adhesive. There we go. I'm gonna stick that in my pocket so it doesn't blow away. So now we have that, we are going to place it I'm going to put it again between my tricep and my shoulder. We'll find that with the muscle flex, all right. Boom. All right, so you stick it on nice and tight. We're going to crack this guy off. There we go. I want to make sure you guys see this. There we go. You can see that, we'll toss that for now. So now from what I understand, it's a simple press of the button. One, two, three. Ah, no, I'm just kidding, it didn't hurt at all. There is, I mean, I felt it a tiny bit, but honestly, not bad. And there we go. You can see the needle in there. Looks like it was a good insertion. Oh, we got a bleeder. First one ever, and it's a bleeder. So again, that's kind of a lot of plastic, but we're gonna recycle what we can. So, next up, the G6 sensor. Go ahead and pull that out. And it says we're supposed to wipe it with an alcohol swab. Make sure it's nice and clean. It's the first use though, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal most likely. But better safe than sorry. So make sure it's dry. You're not supposed to blow on it because that kinda, you risk getting bacteria on there, but um, it looks good, looks good and dry. And uh, yeah, so again, this guy is much more thin. They call it low profile than the G5 was, is. So there's a G5, there's a comparison for you, right next to each other. And uh, yeah, it's not gonna stick out as much. That's nice, it's gonna be less likely to snag onto things. We're gonna go ahead and slip that in. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. There should be a little notch. Whoop, I was putting it in backwards, huh. All right, so let's try this again. Oh, there we go, perfect fit, easy. Let's see if there's a click. Yep, a very faint click. And we're in. So that is the Dexcom G6 sensor change. Back of the arm, you can't even tell it's there. Check me out, rocking two Dexes right now. Boom. So that's the Dexcom G6 arm sensor change. I'll probably try a lower back one later on. See if you guys want uh, instructional on that. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, drop a like. Let me know what else you guys wanna see as far as diabetes education goes. Let us know if you have any fitness or nutrition questions because, like I usually say, we are diabetes health coaches and we are here to help you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day and keep up the fight.